Good evening, welcome back to uh, Shogun Total War. It's the Fall of the Samurai. Not a lot to do on this one. I certainly haven't been doing any planning either. Um, I, I do have, though, um, some troops tied up in Haida that I've decided I'm going to have to move because it's getting a bit silly. In fact, where, about, where are they? Um, let's see if it shows me the armies. It's this one, I think. It's the one where... Yes, that's the one. It's the one where an army's there within an army. I've checked them and they can be brought out of here without any ill effects whatsoever. I don't know where to bring them over here. I really wanted to attract the enemy to come and attack me here so I could use my matchlock towers and gatling gun towers and things like that. Um, but it's just... I, I don't think he's going to attack me. He's just going to siege, isn't he? Or he's going to try and sneak through to other areas, which is it's just a nuisance. So I'm going to have to go and fight him, really. So I'm going to bring those troops out of here, bring them up to here. Possibly stop off at the port, to be quite frank, because um, that port there is just... Um, well, I, I don't know. It's a good leaping-off point, isn't it, really? Um, right, OK, well, that should be happy. Yes, it is. Um, this place, I'd like to get troops out of here as well, but the only problem is that um, that these troops coming out of here are going to make the place a lot less happy. I've got some really, really good quality infantry in here, and it's, it's sort of tempting to back them up with troops from this place here. Um, maybe that's what I should be doing, really. Uh, I don't know how happy they are, and I did say on the previous video that I need um, to watch more than one pass. But if I've got troops down here, which I have, then I think I can fairly trust the pass up there at the top, and I should be able to bring these around here to attack this place, shouldn't I? So I don't know how long it's going to take to get troops out from the top there, from Echu, to go and help them. So 15 they've got in there, and these count as half. So what have I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15. Right, OK. So, I'd need to leave two units behind um, in order to make that a success. But all of these units, really, I want. So, I think what I'm going to have to do is bring... Um, well, at least two units from over here. I don't know how happy they are. They're on 12. They're very happy, aren't they? So, let's bring, say, five over from there. Over to here. How long is it going to take them? How many is that? One, two, so it's four turns. A heck of a long time, isn't it, really? It's nothing else. It's South Shinano, but... Hmm. Well, it's going to have to be done, because I can't just keep tying those troops up in there. That's just silly. So let's bring those over. Make his, man. OK, and then what I'm going to do is take some troops out of here, minus the ones I don't need. So at least we can sort of cover that pass, can't we, really? And prevent anything sneaking through. Otherwise, things are just going to hide in here and all sorts of things. So, let's get the guns out for a start. Um, get the general out with at least two horse. One, two, three, four, five. They should easily be able to come out, so let's see if they can. Ooh, go all the way to there. I think that's probably the place to go as well, isn't it? Well, around about there covers everywhere. Just about there, I think, covers it all. Yes, let's see what boy. happens. Oh good, right, I was going to say, if, it's, if they're not happy then I can always um, uh, send some back eventually, well next turn anyway, so what are we on now? We're on a 6 now, are they going to get better or worse? That looks like a minus 4 they're going to go down to. Uh, yeah, so they are going to get worse, so they're on a, a 6 now, they are going to go down to a 5. So if I take 4 out of there, I mean, that should do it, shouldn't it? Okay. Just leave two behind. So I've still got a, a pretty decent army there, and these troops can be released when the others get in there, can't they? So take put the foreign veteran with them as well, of course. Okay. Uh, and that's it. If you remember on the last video, I was saying I didn't want to do that because I was a bit worried about, um, I don't know, troops coming in from different angles and stuff. But I think that's going to be it. I think, oh, maybe it was this one I was thinking of. You see, these haven't actually moved to here yet to join up with this army. Um, but it's so silly to leave so many troops hanging around, doing absolutely nothing, but this is the one. You see this pass here that people can still get through, but there are no armies in that area there at all, are there? I think we have to rely on these to cover. This is they're not going to do. Somebody's just going to go straight round them, aren't they? So, be alright if we were occupying that pass, that would be good, but... Can't risk it, really. Something could just go round there. So, I think what I'll do is a similar thing. 
let's take some troops far enough away that they're on their way in terms of moving but not too far that they can't go back if anything does come down that way so let's get these out of here and have a look at what's around we're already doing that to be honest with you but okay yeah what with these here watching them okay now oh hang on what was that oh, another army coming down aha so maybe I do need a better army than this one that I've got here at the moment so uh, two foot, well certainly more than that one but there's five in there and here I've got 13 that I could take out do you know I could probably take them all out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 almost all but two so who are the poorest ones uh, it's, hmm okay let's get out well we'll choose all of them and then just leave what two behind these two that are replenishing anyway so and um, we'll take those Maybe. No, we won't. What I'll do is I'll take those. Uh, um, don't know what I'm doing now. That one. Yeah, okay. And then put those up to there. Now that should now be yellow. And let's just see what's going to happen to it. Is it going to go better or worse or what? Uh, it's going to go to minus five. I know. It's going to improve. It's on minus six. It will go to minus five. That's got to be good. I don't really want to recruit more troops. Um, but I could do. And they would add to this army as well as to this one. Maybe that's what I need to do. Let's get a couple in there as well. So I can maybe spare one to join those up there if I can't get troops out of there. And spare some to go into there as well to make up a complete army when the occasion arises. So, Okay, let's do that. I, I think that's probably it, isn't it? So we're moving in that direction. If you remember, we are um, almost... Where are we? Here. Uh, we're almost taking this place. We just can't reach. I can only get, say, three units up against there. And that would be a bit of a fag that because he's going to have about five garrison troops in there as well as his own and of course there's a fortification so that, that just isn't going to work really okay now down in the south um, I've got um, my ships oh actually they're not quite there yet I think it's these isn't it they, yeah they're not quite there so we're going to have to wait and see what position they get into before I start altering my troops around and putting them into a better position um, what I want to be doing is filling up these areas. Um, in fact, what I could probably do is arrange my ship so that I can do it when the occasion arises. Uh, see, that one, he can stay there anyway, that's not a problem. These, that's pretty big, that lot, isn't it? So, uh, maybe I should get them into some kind of a format. Right, okay. These aren't going to be able to go very far, perhaps over to here, well, you know, when the time comes. Um, Oh, I wonder if it's worth it. I wonder if it's worth messing around with them now. Probably not, you know, actually. Uh, 14. No, I'll wait for the other troops to appear before I do anything about those, or for them to get there, that is. Um, now, I think that is about it. I really don't know what to do up here in the north. I, oh, whoops, I wanted him to come and attack my... Um, where are we? Come on. I wanted him to come and attack here, and I, I'm tempted to move troops out, but I just don't think it's worth it. I just do not think he's even going to do it. Um, I think they probably... Yeah, they have. They've battered him already this turn, haven't they? So uh, I think I'm just going to have to go up there and fight him. Um, but there is a risk of down here as well, isn't there? Damn, what do I do? Um, uh, there could be an army on its way there, you see, which could even get all the way through to here to my sort of soft underbelly over there so uh, I think my sword for you, my lord. I think I'm just going to leave them there this turn they, they've just moved, they've just fought so let's leave them there, it's a shame that they haven't got a general with them because they've got some troops there orders, that need to replenish, lord. in fact if that general can move, no he can't blast, he can't get far enough anyway, I probably looked into that in the last video anyway didn't I, but ok, can't do anything up there yet, well, I'll have to think about that in the future, so I think that is probably about it really is everything am I getting all my gunboats in places where I've got ports if I can get them that is what about here yeah I wonder if I should repair that I don't think it's worth it you know I think it's just gonna go and bombard it again isn't he so uh, maybe I should get 
Another ship. Ah, I wouldn't be able to move into there anyway. No, I'm going to have to repair it before I can do anything else, aren't I? So, Right, OK, well, I think that's about it for this turn. Let's see what happens next. Certainly next turn, we're going to take this area. That's a given. Can I recruit in here any better troops? I don't think I can, you know. I'm sure I've checked this before in a previous video. Yes, I have. And no, I can't. So, right, OK, let's go for it. OK. Hey, my great wheel arrived today. Cool, it's massive. Do you know, the pallet that it was on was as heavy, if not heavier, than the wheel. It's an enormous thing. But, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it down into my workshop, because my workshop's down in the cellar. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I thought it would go down, because, you know, there's certainly that much clearance above. It's just whether it'll go round the, the doorway. I don't know, I'm going to have to think about that tomorrow and see what I can manage, but I'm hoping for a good day so I can get it outside and get it all oiled, you know, get some Devon oil on it, make it all look really nice, because at the moment it hasn't got a finish on it. Oh, should I be detected? Yep, good, 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 good. Oh, should I be detected? Well, I'll say good. Uh, good as in, that's all there is, so I don't care about that. So, Okay, let's get these into here. I don't need all of these in here, really, to be honest. Um, what do you mean you cannot? Of course you can. Right, oh, it's probably because I tried to put them in with the geisha or something. I don't know. Probably saying, oh no, sir, she'd be far too distracting for us. Uh, probably right. <laughs> nah. Okay, I was thinking about putting some troops back with those, but they're happy enough, aren't they? And, and I think I think they're secure enough for now. So let's just go and auto resolve this one. Come on, any time now. Yep. Oh yeah, he pointed out to me that you can see the results of the battle as it goes on. Well, what you actually see, isn't it, is the um, the numbers going down. So, do you know, I talking then, I didn't even notice the casualties. Didn't even take them on board, if we had any at all. Right, okay, what, what have I got in here? Don't need a cannon range, so we'll get rid of that. Plenty of cannons around here. Training camp, I really don't need that either, because I'm not going to be raising any troops in here. I can't get any decent ones, so I don't see any point. So... Minus 10 to the cost of recruiting land units. I really don't see any point. See, these all help with recruiting the troops. And I'm not going to be getting any. So I might as well get rid of that as well, really. OK, I don't know what I'm going to put there, but uh, perhaps a police station to you know, start them on their way of becoming independent. I don't know. OK, um, I, I don't know if I can... Oh, I won't be able to recruit this turn anyway, will I? So... OK, this place doesn't seem to have been bombarded, so let's recruit in it. Uh, gunboat. I've got the right one this time. Yes, I have. OK, good. Let's get a gunboat in there, if we can. The idea is, you see, if I, I've got a gunboat in there, he can't land any troops on there um, without first blowing out the port. So I, I think it's worth thinking about. Um, OK, right, that's another province taken. Uh, that's really fundamentally what I wanted to do, other than... Actually, now I think about it, moving south. I want to organise these ships and get them covering an area across here, whereby... Ah, now, I'll probably need to think about the back ones first. Um, because they are going to have to go... Say, mm, you see I can cover? Is it? Yeah, it's to there, isn't it? I think we might just be able to cover across there, you know. Might just, with a little bit of luck, if I move those, say, to there... Can we cover the entire area? Let's see if we can. OK. Those three can cover that part. Ah! There's someone to fight, and they're not actually covering it, the look of it. That, oh yeah, they are, actually. We are covering that. Oh good, right, well I'll send some troops... Well, he's, he's going to retreat anyway, isn't he? Whoever I send up there, so... Um, I don't think I need a full fleet to go and take him, and I've got plenty of movement anyway when I get up there, so I can displace my ships any way I like once I get up there. So let's go and take him out of these. Uh, not that I think he's going to fight. I'm pretty sure he won't do. Yeah. OK. What I want to do is disperse all these ships so that we cover this area, and I'm pretty sure that is going to be possible to do, you see. I mean, there's not a lot of area to cover across there, I think we might just be able to do it. I think it's worth a try anyway. Um, right, OK. This one can cover... Actually, I've got too many ships in that. I don't need that many. Let's 
reduce slightly. Uh, yeah, okay. Perhaps covering maybe here. Yeah, maybe even further. In fact, what's this line here? Oh no, that's not it, is it? Yeah, it's got to be about... It's got to be there, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I think that should do it. If we just put them there. Okay. Right. This is what I always intended to do, by the way. You know, to push forward in this area. Um, so, let's see if it pays off. Actually, now I'm a little short of ships. Oh dear. Ah, but this is a big fleet, this, isn't it? So I can um, take some ships away from there, can't I? I might have to sort of expand a little for now until I can fiddle about later. There's three in that one, so that one should be okay. Let's see if this will go, say, around about there. Like I said, I can always fiddle again because I'm not using their full movement, am I? You know, they've got all that movement all the way up to there. It's only these lot that, that can't move any further. So let's see if that covers it. That goes to there which is halfway across. You see where those two circles intersect? There used to be a word for that in maths, and I don't remember what it is now. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, that, went, that looks like about central, doesn't it? So I think we should be okay there. Do you know, I think we're going to cover the entire area. I really do. Only one ship here. But like I said, I can join other ships to it. So if I put him there, do you know, he might actually cover both those ships there might actually be enough to cover the whole of that area across. It's worth having a look anyway, isn't it? And then these can just come and fill up the gaps. Did they do their full move? No, even, they've even got some movement available to them as well. Right, okay. He's meeting about halfway there, so that's about, that's, that's okay. He's... Uh, actually, there might be a little bit of a gap there. So I might need to think about filling that one up. If I look over here, he's definitely covering the edge. And that's covered there. So really it's just this part here, isn't it? So if I move him, say, a little bit further over, perhaps to here, and then add some ships to that one. So if I put, say, I don't know, um, put one of those in there, and then one of these, and one of these, perhaps, for 16, and add those to that. I know it's... Um, dividing our ships off and it's not too clever but I'm hoping he's just got single ships that he tries to sneak through at the moment Let's see what happens. These can all gain support from one another anyway, they're close enough aren't they? So right okay, I think that means we've got the whole lot covered that's certainly covered across there like I said before that's the most dodgy one I think isn't it really I wonder if it's worth bringing one of those across ever so slightly um, hmm. he can move a little bit further Perhaps bring him to there. And this one, just a little bit further over, closer to him. About here. Right, now I'm absolutely certain that they're close enough. So that's good. Right, now it's getting these close enough to one another. And he needs to be just a little bit further up there, I think. In order to cover it. So it's there, and they're definitely close enough now. Now it's these here, so it's there. And there. I think they're fine, to be honest. I really do. But I can inch them forward anyway and make them what we call equidistant across there as well. So that's to there, that's to there. And then these here can even move forward a little bit more to cover this area here. So we've got to there and to there, easily covered. We've got all the way across there now with those ships. So nothing is going past us across there, I would suggest anyway. I just wish I could select all of those ships at once. Wouldn't it be good? Let's try control. I, d I think I've tried this before and I can't do, can I? No, you can't do it, so... Never mind. Um, hmm. Yeah, I wonder if there's a way of doing it elsewhere, but never mind. No, ignore that. Uh, can I get anywhere around here another gunboat? It's just so that I can ferry troops across if I need... To be honest, I don't think I even need to. It'd just be a waste of money. Okay, next turn, I hope to sort of approach it. It'd be nice to reach it. If I can get across here, I know I can easily cover 
across that area there and of course we've now taken this area which is Izu. It's just sorting these ships out on the way, it's being able to take them out and then still be able to cover the area afterwards. We might find ourselves a little bit overstretched there. But maybe it's possible to cover this area in the interim period and gradually move across like a big teddy boy gun going across the marketplace. I don't know, we'll see. Um, right, now then. Um, uh, this is my other place for possibly a battle. I've got ten minutes of video time left. Do I go for it? He's obviously damaging my territory up here somewhere. I can't remember which one it is that he's doing it with. I'm tempted to bring these ships across here, but this is a wide area for them to cover. I'll show you. I've been looking at this. It looks alright there, doesn't it? And it looks okay here. But when you start to go over to here, it goes really, really wide. So there's nothing I can do beyond that point. I could bung some ships in there and then one a fleet in there as well and we could cover this area here. And okay, that's nice. But I'm not sure how necessary that is. And um, it, it, I mean, it prevents anybody being able to get into these areas, I suppose. But I honestly don't think that's necessary. And I think we might as well just stay where we are. There's no point in risking anything that might be up here, for instance, on our way across getting in our way. I don't, you see, it goes very wide out there. I'm really not too sure. You see, those three ships could probably cover that area. I'm not sure. Those three fleets, rather. And he could certainly cover that area. So, it's possible, but I just don't want to risk it, really. That's the thing. And it's nice to be able to use these, shi these, these ships to help you know, sort these armies out here that are ganging up on me. If I attack him, he's just going to retreat, isn't he? No, I don't know where else he's going to go. You know, these are going to go, but... I'm loathe to use my um, geishas, but maybe that's just what I have to do. Um, do I wait there for him to come to me? I think I probably should, you know. Let's get the general up with him for a start, so at least he's in the right position. Maybe, with a bit of luck, I doubt it, maybe he'll attack here. Oh, he's got, I've got too many troops in there. I've got Maxlot Towers in there. Shall I go for Gatling on Towers? It would be nice to have them, so let's go for it. Just in case there's a chance I might be able to use it. That's the railway station, isn't it? Which is... Oh, it's this one down here. I should have repaired that last time, really, shouldn't I? But... OK, let's do it now. Um, the sensible thing is probably to distract his armies here to stop them moving. And then sort him out. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait here. Hopefully he'll try besieging here and then we can attack him because he's gonna have he's gonna have my army to fight plus the besieging army. So uh, pl plus the besieged army I should say. Okay, and in the meantime what I'll do is I'll use this fleet here to bombard his troops. Why not? Um As we say, be rude not to. Okay, twenty seven and thirty one. That's taken a few away. My other troops are already on the move, I think, but I did move some in the centre here, um, hoping that some additional troops becoming available would be able to support their numbers a bit. I, I'm sort of unwilling to take troops out of here. You see, I don't know if they'll... You see, something could sneak through there as well. I know it's only one unit, but it's worth thinking about, isn't it? Maybe that's another place that should have matchlock um, towers and things in it. Um, can't have them anyway, so... Gambling den at the moment. Right, okay, I don't know where I'm going to go with him. I certainly don't need him that way. I really need him to be moving in that direction. Can we occupy a pass over here? The answer is probably yes. Hmm, okay. Let's get him over there and get these moving on. Oh, may I say to, I don't know, up here somewhere. Oh, Oops. Up here somewhere, yep. Yeah. And then her. What would you have me do? Perhaps, I don't know, to here. Hi. Okay, so we can Hi. see what else is around. Yeah, there's another army there at the back. No surprise there, I suppose. Um, I will find and it's what I do with this one. Do I advance it now? I think I should, you know. There's a pass through there, which obviously I don't need to protect anymore, so that's fairly safe. They're fairly safe, all very safe all the way along there. So this army can definitely move in on this place, I would have thought. It'd be nice to get some ships helping with that attack down there as well, wouldn't it? But, okay, um, what do I do? Do I move these now with all this artillery? Perhaps up to here? 
He covers almost that pass completely, doesn't he? But something could get around him. He'd have to go a long way round and we could still catch him, but... I don't know. What do we do? If I hide in there, he'll just go round the road. This is what happens, by the way. You ambush in there, and he won't go along the road. He'll go around the outside in order to avoid your ambush. Not because the AI knows you're there, of course. Hmm, that would be cynical, wouldn't it? It's because he's just being extra specially careful. <laughs> yeah, like that's true. Um, right, OK. Um, I can't cover the whole of that area across there. What a nuisance. I can't cover any of these passes all the way. I could put some extra troops out, though, to cover it, I suppose. Maybe that's what I should do. OK, let's bring those out to there, then. Right. OK, and I'll leave some horse, say, just in here, in an ambush situation. So if anything thinks it can get through, it's got to go past me there. Now, they should be able to gain support from one another. Um, so there's that one there, and this one here, and together we've got that area covered, haven't we? So nothing can get through there. Okay, so that's the pass covered. Now these troops here, I should have some now that can come and... Oh no, they can't come out yet, can they? Just plus one. We're still waiting for these troops to come over, aren't we? So, Okay, well let's start moving them in that direction. And... Down, was it South Shinano, where I raised some? I'm not too sure now. I think it was, you know, it's here, wasn't it? They're on plus four. Well, I only need a couple to go up to the top there, so maybe, because it's safe enough anyway, I should bring some out of here. Um, How many? Let's, let's just check again how much they're going down by each turn. Minus three. It's not changing. It's just minus three. So... Um, I think because I've got four, I could take three out. I only need to take two out. Let's just take the two out and then disband units later on as necessary. So we'll bring those up to here. Okay, so if anything does sneak through, we're going to be building up some forces, aren't we, from all of these here. So it's tempting just to put these onto ships, isn't it, and land them somewhere. You know, put them on there and then land them round the back of the enemy lines somewhere. Maybe even use Noto as a kind of springboard to somewhere else. I just don't know, really. Certainly would be nice to land them at the back somewhere here. I don't think I can do. I can only land near ports, can't I? But uh, No, let's keep them moving on their current direction, current path, and see what happens. Now, the area down the south here that I've just taken... Um, ah, no, I've only just this second take now. No, I was going to say, I was thinking about repairing these, but <laughs> I'm getting mixed up about when I actually took the damn place. Right, OK, um, I think that's probably about all I need to do. Building up my attack down here, I'm ready to defend up here, building my Gatling gun towers and various towers and things that I need in various places up here in case I need to defend them. So I'm thinking there might be an amphibious attack here, that's why my ships are up there, to defend against it from the rest of Japan, but if he does land around here somewhere, I've got those sort of Gatling gun and matchlock towers in various places. There was another place, I'm sure, where I could build somewhere recently I've taken, maybe it's this one, where I can... No, I'm already doing it there, aren't I? Is it this one? Nope. Uh, I don't know where it is. I thought there was another one where I could build some matchlock towers or Gatling gun towers or something else. You know, where I'd already got rid of the the building that was in there, but nope, can't think of it. It's certainly not up there, is it? Because up there I'm building the um, city in order to get another slot so that I can put my towers in there. So I think that's about it, actually. Damn, I'm up to 29 minutes and I haven't had a battle. What a, what a pain. OK, let's end turn on that one then. Province captured construction complete. What's that? Matchlock Towers. OK, yes, we saw that one, didn't we, when we were looking around. Quartermaster's report. That's those two we were talking about. Shinobi detected. Province captured. Enemy Navy withdraws. Yeah, we know about all that. Let's just have a look. See what he does this turn. And then I might call it a day. Oh, unless he comes and attacks me somewhere. That would be good, wouldn't he? If he attacked me in the place that's got the Matchlock Towers, that would be really nice. Uh-huh. 
next command, <laughs> He tried! Oh, can you believe that? Look, he actually tried to sneak through. See what I mean? If you leave a gap like that, he'll go all the way around. But it's good that the AI um, fell into that one, really. Uh, that disproves what I was saying. That makes me feel all cynical and horrible now. <laughs> right, okay, well, I don't think I'm going to suffer any casualties whatsoever in that battle, so I'm just going to auto-resolve that one. Certainly not worth fighting it. What is that one, anyway? Decline attack. I don't think I've ever brassed that one. That's why I don't know what it is. Auto-resolve. Come on, don't even take any of my horse away, please. That would be a nonsense. Yep, lost none. Enemy destroyed. Excellent news. That's good, because it's kind of attracted in my way. He thought there was a route through, didn't he? So that, that worked quite well, actually. Maybe I should adopt that sort of tactic in the future, actually. Hmm. Keep something in ambush. Close to where my main army is. Ah, maybe I should have adopted it there. It looks like he's gone through my lines, doesn't it, there? Oh, she never detected. Shinobi detected, Shinobi detected, Shinobi detected, enemy Shinobi detected. Right, okay, good. Um, I think it got past me here somewhere, didn't it? Here. Right, now we're hidden in there, so he couldn't see me. So he doesn't know he's exposed. He feels as though he's got past me and he's on his way here. Mind you, he's got that army to contend with, doesn't he? What's he thinking of? It's a joke, isn't it? There's no way he could have ever thought he could get through there. Um, I've no idea what was in his mind. Bombardments. Let's look at that. Oh my goodness me. Three places bombarded. Let's have a look at those first and get them repaired while I'm thinking about it. Okay. Um, it's going to cost me a fortune to be continually repairing these, isn't it? Uh, bombardment here. Okay. Um, Okay, and where's the other one? Here. Same place. Maybe we were just bombarded twice. Seems to have hit that port in, well, two times. That's the one where I'm recruiting in as well, I think, isn't it? It was a, I don't know, it was an outside shot, wasn't it, really? That would be able to do it. I think I tried recruiting in here as well, didn't I? Oh, no, I can't. I've only just taken the place, and so no, I wasn't recruiting in there. Right, OK. Um, not much I can do about that, really. I'm going to have to bring some troops up here to help out. Um, these troops here look like they've got a fairly free hand to move all the way through to there, don't they? Uh, these... Some can probably even reach him. Almost, anyway. But what we can do is block off that pass now and then attack him next turn. Well, that's going to be an attractive possibility, isn't it? Um, I wonder. Anyway, I'm going to think about that for next video. Um, these troops now, well, fairly soon, should be able to join with those. They might even be able to get there in a useful position. Now, as for these, it would be so good, wouldn't it, just to add a little battle onto the end of this video. It's bound to run away, but my... Um, Geisha should be able to pin him in position. Um, we've got to finish him, I just can't leave him there. If he retreats, he'll only retreat next to this one here and make it even harder for me next time, so uh, he's just thrown himself into the lion's mouth, hasn't he, really? So he's just going to have to go. Um, the other thing, of course, is these ships down at the bottom here I need to think about. So they're going to have to move, hopefully, somewhere around here. Now, they've got a lot of movement, haven't they, the look of it? I think that's their movement. So it looks like I could even come up to here. Might even catch that corner, which is what I want. Well, no, it's not the corner, is it? Sorry. Here. If I can get... If only I could get across there. See, maybe this turn what I'm going to have to do is just go across here. That point there. And then next time, go across here. Because, of course, he's got those ships in there as well, hasn't he? I think covering this area across here next time and then moving across to here and then of course we'll, we'll sort of well if I can cover that area with some decent ships if I can do it you know with, with say just three fleets decent sized fleets I can then go in there and just sort these guys out here can't I you know because uh, you know I can just go in the back and and destroy them um, then I can start raising some gunboats in there as well and then maybe I can pop forward with the one that's spare into here and you know the fleet that sorted those out and then sort these out you know after I've blocked off this area here 
maybe I can spare a fleet to just nip out there and do this and of course replenish itself as time goes by as well so yeah it's a good idea I think right okay well anyway that's all thinking time um, that, that's going to be the battle on my next video I think I'm going to get the geisha to, um, to distract them and then we'll move forward on that one but oh there is one thing that I might forget that I think is important to do now while I'm here and that is because it's going to be a few turns that this is going to be exposed he's already damaged that port it would be nice to be able to get my <laughs> nice little towers in here again and also get a police station in there so we can start spreading the independence uh, the the pro-independence so right okay um maybe we should have got a police station uh, uh, not sure i think maybe it Influence was going my way anyway. Yes, it is. So we're okay there. I don't need to worry about that. Right, okay, so it's now, again, thinking time, really, I suppose. And I'm sorry we couldn't do a battle, but okay, we've got another province and we're still going in the right direction. Uh, 57 out of 65. I don't actually want to delay the finishing of this campaign, but I want the campaign to last long enough for me to be able to, um, well, really for me to be able to show all the different technologies that are available in Fall of the Samurai. Um, so anybody that's interested can look in at the, the you know, e even at the end of this series of campaigns and look at the various things, features that you can get, like the matchlock towers, etc. Right, okay, two there, only one for those. It's tempting, isn't it, to just nip in and take that one area from the Kakagawa. Um, Nagaoka, yep, and the Sendai. So they are mighty and affluent. Other than that, I don't think I've got any worries whatsoever. Actually, has it? No, it still hasn't exposed these yet, has it? So, Okay, well, let's go. Thanks for watching, folks. And um, I've still got last night's to put up, so I'm a video ahead. But thanks for watching again.